Hello, it's Tabitha, and it's time for another Wednesday Art Snack. Yay! <laughs> Delicious snacks to feed your creative practice. I don't know, still looking for a slogan. Um, so today I want to talk about ugly art, bad art which of course is all relative because, you know, one woman's uh, masterpiece is another woman's junk, but I'm talking about in your eyes, your art in your own eyes. How do you see your work? And a lot of people don't like what they paint or they don't like it throughout different stages and they think there's something wrong with that. And I am here to tell you there is nothing wrong with that. This is a part of the deal. Ugly art happens. Just the way it goes, just the way it goes. And maybe your goal is not to make beautiful art, but bad art happens. Stuff you don't like happens. It's the black stuff that you have to get out. Actually, I'm talking about two, two different things here. One is you're in the middle of a painting and it gets to this awkward stage that you hate. So many people give up at that point. Don't give up, don't give up. That's just a growing stage, it's growing pains. I can't tell you how many of those paintings I have. You don't see them here. I don't show them to you. <laughs> I mean, unless you are painting with me online, then you get to see it. You get to see it. You have to see it. It's, it's fine. It's totally fine. It's, um, you work through it, you work through it. And as artists, we like to solve problems. Creating a painting is creating a problem to solve. We like to figure it out. So don't give up, don't give up, just keep working through it. Now, then there's paintings that you are finished with and you think they're awful. Awesome, that is good news because that means there's good art to come. Sometimes you gotta get out that junky junk stuff stuff and, and the good stuff will happen. It's okay, just keep going, keep going, keep going. So here's, here's a big thing. Um, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes, I don't even think there's mistakes in art. Sometimes you think, uh, I should say, I don't think there's mistakes in some kinds of art. Um, if you paint with acrylics, if you paint with oils, they are very forgiving. And what you think is a mistake, you might go over with another layer and it works out beautifully. And you can't go wrong with layers. Layers add more richness to your painting. Just layer it up, layer it up, layer it up. Get that thick, rich paint on there. It's a good thing. But you gotta take some risks. I mean, if you can't take risks on a canvas, where are you gonna take a risk? I mean, it's, um, you can buy these canvas boards, super cheap, super cheap. Um, and you could even buy canvas these days for cheap. You can paint on paper, whatever. Let yourself take some risks, make some mistakes. That's how you're going to learn. And if you're painting with acrylics or oils, you can always paint right back over them. It maybe it's just a layer. I'm telling you, I have some canvases that have painting after painting after painting after painting on them. And I would say those canvases are cursed because nothing works out on them until they do. There might be 10 paintings on there and finally one will work. It's okay. You can consider everything else practice. All of that stuff that you did, all of those paintings that you don't like that you did, consider it practice. It's all practice. Nothing is ever wasted. 
you can start with a pile of paint and paint a horrible painting and it's still not wasted because you got some layers down, you learned some stuff. Sometimes you just learned what you don't like, what not to do. It's okay, it's all a part of it. So, ugly art happens, don't worry about it. Express yourself on canvas, don't overthink it. Don't be afraid to take risks and make mistakes, it's how you learn. That's all I got for you today. All right, have fun painting, I'll see you later.